We have an update tonight on the two dogs credited with attacking an intruder in their home. And since our story aired last night, Coweta County Animal Control and the Sheriff's Office has been flooded with phone calls and emails from people worried about the welfare of the dogs. Fox House Doug Evans has the update. The story has made headlines around the country. Two dogs killing an intruder in their Coweta County home. Many have hailed the dogs as heroes and have expressed outrage that they were locked up afterwards. Those two dogs remain at Coweta County's animal control. What we've learned is that is standard procedure for any dog bite case in the county, mainly to determine if the dogs have rabies. It's a 10 day quarantine. Coweta County Animal Control says they've been in contact with the owner who says the dogs will be going home with him at the end of the quarantine period next week. Fox 5 first broke the story of the two dogs who authorities say mauled an intruder to a home here last Friday. The homeowner returned to the house on Walt Sanders Road and found the man dead on the front porch. Investigators say there was evidence that he had been inside the home when attacked. The dogs had been locked up inside when the homeowner had left. On social media across the country, many people expressed outrage that the dogs had been locked up at the animal shelter and their future seemed uncertain. Both Coweta County Animal Control and the Sheriff's Office says they were flooded with calls and emails expressing concern for the dogs. The Sheriff's Office released a statement Thursday saying they have no holds on the dogs because of their investigation and that the dogs were free to be released after the mandatory 10-day quarantine period. The dead man has been identified as 21-year-old Alex Abraha of Atlanta. How he got to the home, his motive for entering, remain a mystery. Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.